on guys i'm back for another video and today we're doing yet another rally cross build um and we're today we're we're here in the m5 uh i just bought this thing i haven't driven it i don't know why i didn't own one because i actually really really like how these cars look uh they're really really cool i actually didn't know that um that the hood opened up uh like on the front like that i just thought it was a normal hood opened up to the back i was genuinely surprised when i uh, went to explode the car and the, the hood popped open like that but anyway let's go ahead and uh, get on to this build um, I honestly don't really have much expectations for this car um, I just kind of bought it because I hadn't I didn't own one I really wanted to own one and um, I was I think I was gonna make like a drift build of it just uh, not even recording or anything just for me and um, and then I was I went to edit my video for today that I recorded yesterday and found out that my audio just like the other rallycross build yesterday was uh sounded like the game volume was too loud so it was really really hard to hear what i was saying but it was even worse than the rallycross video because um because i was in a mustang and it was really loud so i'm sorry about uh yesterday's video if that did uh, anger you or whatever that you couldn't really hear me that well it should be better today i'm talking a bit louder um and then i also did turn down my game volume like 10 decibels so if it is too loud, then like like there's absolutely no way. I there's a little box that I can check where it reduces um, uh, the game volume when I'm talking, but then it just makes it so that you can like hardly even hear it. So I, I'm trying to find like a really good balance to where you can like, hear um, the game volume because you want to be able to hear the cars and stuff like that because it, it it makes you more engaged with the game uh, instead of with me, which is always good. Uh, not gonna throw the roll. Actually, let's see how much PI the roll cage gives us. It puts us up quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna do. Pa I'm gonna let's put some uh, upgrades into the power. And if we do have a little bit um, of extra upgrades, I will come back and do the roll cage. Uh, I'm not gonna throw the flywheel in. Let's see, just doing some of the big stuff, and can't quite get that in there. But let's see, we'll throw that in, and let's see if we can fit the roll cage in with that. Because I think 500 and whatever we had, that's not the roll cage. How much was it? 577? We can't f quite fit the full roll cage in, but we can fit that in. That'll give us a, a decent amount of stability. So we'll go ahead and throw that in, and then obviously just throw a flywheel on. And then maybe something like this. Is it even worth it? How much weight does that add? That is not worth it. That has quite a bit of weight. Let's see if this is worth it. Wow, that actually takes a PI down. That makes sense because it adds quite a bit of weight and only only 7 horsepower. Um, well, let me just see if I can find anything that we could do. Maybe the valves? I don't think I upgraded those. Nope. Uh, ignition? Nope. Fuel system? Nope. Alright, so I think that... Oh, no, I know what we can do. We can do the anti-roll bars, so we'll do the, the rear first, and then the front if we have room, which we do not, but we can fit the, we can fit the, the sport one on, so boom, so we're ending this thing, uh, taking out quite a bit of weight, taking out like 500, 500 pounds, uh, ending the build at 3,212 pounds, which is pretty good, a uh, slight bit on the heavy side, but that's alright, uh, we do have quite a bit of power at 577 horsepower, it's very, very good to get that single turbo. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, so far, I mean, the car's looking pretty good. I, I feel like it'll do all right, because, uh, it's just, it's just like a, a normal car shape, and the thing was kind of built, um, it's built, it's an, it's an M3, it's an, it's an M3. It sounds pretty good, too. But uh, anyway, let's head on over to the Yara Valley Mountain, that's not what I want to go to. The Yara Valley and Mountain View Scramble Circuit, where we're going to have five laps to see if this thing can, in fact, beat our current leader, which is the Ram Runner, with a time of... I keep forgetting to open up my times. With a time of... 1 minute 1.19. Um, I think, if anything best case scenario absolute best case scenario the car gets second place uh, in front of the camaro but um if i'm if i if i be completely honest i i genuinely do not think that anything will ever beat the ram runner um i know i said that about the tesla and then the the camaro beat it and i the i8 finished right behind it almost beating it 
but um, I genuinely think that nothing will ever beat the Ram Runner. We've done so many cars, and nothing's even come anywhere close to that time. Uh, it was absolutely insane. But anyway, let's see how this thing launches. I'm expecting it'll do pretty good. It's got a little bit of weight. Very minimal wheel spin, which is good. The gear ratios are damn near perfect. They're very, very short, which is really, really nice. The car's gripping up quite a bit in the front. Not too much understeer. Let's see how it handles a little bit of speed. A little tiny bit of understeer, but I mean, that's expected from a car. Like, it's not meant to be a... Uh, not meant to be all-wheel drive. Very, very grippy. Pulls through the pulls through the gears are really, really nice. Tried to take that corner without um, without letting off at all. A little bit of e-brake there to get it sideways. Swing swing it around the corner and see how it handles the jumps. It's pretty good. A little bit of bounce there. A little awkward gear ratio right there. See if it clears the water. Not quite clearing the water. Pretty good over the jumps. A little bouncy. A little, uh, little all over the place. Slightly, but uh, everything manageable. Well, let's see what kind of time we're pushing for our first lap. One, five, six. Pretty good. Pretty good. I think the Subaru did a one, six something on the first lap. So this thing bait. Maybe going to be a little faster than that. Not a super great lap so far. Pretty sloppy through those first couple corners, but I'm just trying to push the car, you know, a little bit. It's the second lap. Letting off a little bit, staying on the track. Questionable to go down to third right there. Probably won't do that again. A lot better through that section. Just about clearing the water there. Staying in fourth gear and barely getting that checkpoint. Coming extremely fast around this corner. And then I balls it on the back corner. Damn, that was a fat. That would have been a fast time too. Even with that balls last corner, it's still a pretty respectable time. But that definitely would have been a top tier time if I would not have messed up that last corner that bad. So let's try and uh, let's try and keep it calm and collected and get another good lap going here. And a little bit of wheel spin there. I think that's the desired line that I want to start taking with cars. Is kind of turning really in right there and sliding to the outside uh, because um, because the turn right after that is a right hand turn. So you think that I need to swing a little left and then hit it to the right to get to like the, the ape, hit the apex or whatever. But the corner is coming straight out of that hairpin that no cars have enough speed to need to do that. Didn't quite get turned in there, so not as not as good of a line through that section as I would have liked the last lap. But that's all right. Still a pretty good lap. Tried to tried to do what I did like last lap and stay in fourth gear. I'm like, that's gutting. Possibly looking at our slowest time yet because of that, this checkpoint. That was weird. It didn't come up on screen saying that I could, uh, I could rewind. Alright, so the fourth lap here. Let's see how we do. Very, very quick around that corner. 130 miles an hour. Barely getting that checkpoint. Again, trying to take this new new little line right there. Not quite exactly how I would like to take it, but not terrible. Let off just a tiny bit to get those front wheels to grip up around that corner. And same thing here. Try and keep it in fourth gear. Swing an extremely wide, very, very fast lap. Little shaky through that section. And nailing the fence. Get out of the damn fence! I hit it a tiny bit and I was full, full turns to the left and it just was, the fence was pulling me in, it didn't want me to go. Damn it, this was a good lap too, it was a really, really good lap. And a little cheeky wall tap right there. Damn, if I don't hit that fence, that was a, that was a great lap. Pushing a little bit faster than I even was last lap. And last lap I was going super fast around the corner. I can maybe take a little bit better line here. Getting very, very sideways. Lots of drift. Lots of smoke.
barely getting that checkpoint swinging extremely wide nail on the sign. Again, extremely wide, barely staying on the track, almost hitting that wall there. See if I could not take out this fence here. It's not even there. Perfect. I let off a tiny bit, barely getting that checkpoint, almost clearing the water. Again, staying in fourth gear around that corner. So fast, I almost hit the wall there. Getting a little, little sketchy through this section. See if I can not mess up around this corner. Keep it in third gear. Messed up a little bit, but still going to be an extremely fast lap. A one minute eight. Holy crap. Was that our last lap? That was our last lap. Holy crap. So we were just very, very good. Very, very managed car. I think the, I think the only lap I had balls was um, the the lap where I, uh, I missed that checkpoint. Um, wow. Very, very quick time from that thing. That puts this into just barely in front of Ken Block's Ford Focus RX into sixth place. So very, very respectable time. This was a very, very good car. Uh, I expected it to do pretty decent, but I honestly wasn't really expecting it to be uh, to be top 10. Uh, this thing did very, very well. Very, very, it was very managed, had a really decent amount of power. The, the gear ratios could have could have been a little bit better, but they were still really, really good for, uh, for not tuning them and stuff. Really, really good car. Love how it looks. Love this paint job on it. I love the uh, the M3 colors. They look they look so good. Or not the M3 colors. The M series colors. I love the I love the blues and the red. But uh, anyway, if you did enjoy this video, as always, please leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you feel like doing. Uh, sorry about the audio issues. It should be better this video. Um, if it's not, then it definitely will be next up next video. Uh, running a little short on time because I wasn't expecting on needing to record a video today. So anyway. Again, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe, do whatever you feel like doing. I hope to see you guys in the next one, and as always, guys, I'm out.